Good morning. Welcome. Hi, I'm Kelly. Thanks for showing up. Maxwell, come here. Good morning. Good morning, baby. How are you today? Thanks for showing up. Today we're going to do a, we're going to warm up and get right into a sprint routine and be done with that in about 10 minutes. Moving on to 20 minutes of strength training with uh, multi-dimensional or multi-planar moves and moving, just moving in different directions for strength. You're going to need light to medium weight in this class and let's get started by warming up. And I'm going to warm up with some five pound weights. Nothing, nothing heavier than that. Okay. So let's begin setting the timer. Hope you're doing well this morning. Thanks again for showing up. I really love to work out with you. That's why I'm here starting session. All right, here we go. So just lightweight, pick your shoulders up and roll them back. Separate your feet about hip width, toes pointing forward. And we're going to start with squats as usual with a bicep curl right here. Cool. Sink your weight back into your heels. Stick your glutes back. Fill your body. Press your feet down into the ground. Abs contracting when you stand all the way up. Stretch those hips in the front. Good. Now do a reverse lunge and a bicep curl. Now take that reverse lunge just as a curtsy, a little at a diagonal, stepping back. Now take it straight back, curl. Take it to the side, right there. And you can lift your arms, a delt lift, warming up the shoulders. Step out, sink your weight back. Glutes go back, weight in your heels mostly. Excellent. Now let's take it down for lizard with rotation. One knee down, one foot forward. Place this weight down on knuckles pointing towards the floor. Reach your arm up like that. Stretch and then rotate under. And meanwhile, you're pressing your hips towards the floor and squeeze the glute on that side. Reach. So just adding a little bit of weight to the warm up. Increasing the heart rate just a little bit more. Shouldn't be too hard yet. All right, now stretch and change sides. Opposite foot forward, hand on the floor, reach underneath right there and reach up. Rotate under and reach up. Again, rotate under and reach. One more. And now stretch your hamstring real quickly, right there. Come into plank. You can keep your hands on your dumbbells or hands on the floor like that. Downward facing dog. Plank to downward facing dog. Do it one more time. Plank to downward facing dog. And then step forward. Move your weights out of the way. And let's get our heart rate up. Boxer shuffle. Pump the arms. Move this out of the way. Just keep moving. So slowly and gradually, you want to get your heart rate up. Not too quick. All right, take it into a jump rope. A little more effort. Bounce on the balls of your feet. Right there, hop, turn your rope. Keep going and jumping jacks. Low or high, low right here or high. Hi Maxwell. <laughs> Reach those arms. High knee run right here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, touch, step side and touch. Reach overhead. 
touch, reach overhead. Keep that going. Here you go. Grab your, grab your chicken. Bye, Maxwell. Bye. All right, so keep that. Touch, reach overhead. Touch. Now add a little hop. So going into the sprint time, phasing, easy to moderate to hardest. So all levels can do this. All right. Now try to go harder by reaching both hands down, both hands overhead, hop quick, quick movement. Work those fast foot muscle fibers going faster and stronger. Come on. Come on. And you did it. 15 seconds between the rounds, okay? So next up, let's do our knee, do the knee drill, knee drive. Simple in the beginning, tap forward, then get your balance, lift your knee up, reach your arms, opposing limbs with the arm, legs and arms, knee, lift, now add. Just a little hop, a little hop. So these little hops, it's a little plyometric. It works your, or strengthens the joints, the muscles around the joints, soft landing. Now go stronger. Come on, straight arms. Very specific, you guys. Show effort right here, come on. Up, lift, go. Come on, lift, one more. All the way to the end. That last rep, the most important rep. That's where, me, where you make a difference, all right. Second side, you ready? Here we go. Tap, tap. Knee, lift the knee up. Now lift quick, quick, quick knee, up. Now little hop, little hop. Reach your arms, lift, sweep the arms. You got it, come on, up, reach. Just a little hop, we're almost there, come on. Steady, keep your foot in the same place. Now really drive the knee, effort. Come on, fast switch muscle fibers, go. Come on, up, lift, bring it up. Come on, up, up. And nicely done, lift up your knees. All right, let's move into a different plane of motion. So, tap one side and then we'll skate. Okay, so tap. So when you tap the hand, place it right on the inner thigh or the knee or the ankle. If you tap lower, much harder, heart rate higher. Other side. Start here, tap right there, then lower maybe. Careful, good job, come on. Almost there, going right into a skate, right and left, be careful. All right, here we go. Tap, get your footing, your footing placement. Touch lower, same thing. Right there, come on, tap, tap, you're there, excellent work, alrighty, let's take it down, mountain climber, let's get it done, breathe, right here, slow and controlled, knees in, 
Now, make the movement quick, quick. Body straight, press into your fingers. Now the next phase, switch, quick, quick movement, switch, switch, switch. Maybe right here is enough, hard to sustain, right? But just try, try not to rock or sway the body too much. Now go quicker. Breathe, press into your fingers, come on. Go quicker, run it out. Go, come on. Excellent work. All right, last thing, finishing with high knee run, okay? So start with a knee tap, right there. Tap the top of your knees, now go quicker. My shoe's untied. <laughs> tap, tap. Standing upright, tap your knees. All right, you ready? Hacky sack, tap. Ankle, turn your knee out. You got it, come on. Endurance, you guys, come on, stamina, tap. All right, high knee run, finish strong, come on. Lift those knees up, come on. Go quicker, faster, stronger, come on, come on, go. Breathe. Done. Nicely done, guys. Okay. Get some water. That was exactly 11 minutes and 21 seconds, which included the warm-up. So we warmed up for about 30 minutes, and the rest was the sprint interval training. <laughs> okay? Get a big sip of water. Wipe your sweat. So that was our sweat breaker. Now, moving on to bigger and better things. Here we go. Let's pick it up. Medium heavy weight. I'm going to start with 12s. All right, we'll finish with this 20 minutes and then have a brief stretch, okay? So pick up your weights, weight up to your shoulders, right here. All right, so look, take it back to a curtsy, right leg back, curtsy. Keep the weight at your shoulders. Do that again, curtsy, dip your knee down, step your foot side by side. Dip, now, just try this. Reach your weights for your ankle right there now take it to the side. So step side, we'll add the arms in a moment. Step side, sink your weight back. I want you to really plant that foot, sink your weight back, keep your chest up. Now try to reach one weight towards the shoelaces. All right, now Arnold press. Straight up and down, straight arms. All the way up and down, nice. Do it again. Straight up, concentrating on your form. Excellent. Set it down. All right, we'll do the other side. I think of my stuff. Pick it up right here. Ready? Opposite side. Curtsy. Drop the knee down. Tap. Curtsy, and then tap. Curtsy, and tap. There you go. Now just try. Reach, and bring it up. So you're stepping back at a diagonal. One more. Take it to the side. Don't use the weights yet. Weight back. 
sink your glutes back, press your entire foot down, and push the foot into the ground to come back up. Push and lift up. Arnold press, straight up. So separate your feet, palms forward, palms facing in. Do it again, palms forward, palms facing in. Excellent, forward and then down. Do it again, up and down, nice. Get some, there we go. Okay, now we're gonna put the moves together, right up here, rear, or rear curtsy with a reach. Take it to the side, reach, and then do a Arnold press. Stay on the same side, curtsy. Let's work on that side first. Bring it up, side, and then Arnold. All right, now let's change sides. Curtsy, bring it up, take it side, Arnold press. Right there, good job. All right, take it to the same side, curtsy, Take it side, Arnold press. All right, so now let's alternate. Go back to the right side, curtsy. Take it side, Arnold press. Straight up. Other side, curtsy. Take it to the side, Arnold press. Straight up. Do it again. Actually pause right there. Set your weights down. All right. Let's do this. Pick up your weight, go up heavier if you need to, or go lighter. Each move one at a time, and then we'll put it together again. So here we go. Curtsy, reach, right side only. Curtsy, reach, press that foot down into the ground, the foot, the standing leg right there. So when you articulate the body like that, engagement, protect the joints okay so it's I know it makes it harder but you want to protect your joints right so step out bend your knee bend your hip and reach right there bring it up you can move this weight a little bit to the side all right Arnold press straight up and down excellent straight up and then down Nice, and lower, do it again, reach, one more, weight down, pause for just a moment, we're going to do the other side, okay, so first thing, curtsy with the reach, bring it up, so this, the last three classes, curtsy and reach, have been very similar. A few changes or additions, but basically working specifically the muscle groups, getting stronger by practicing more. All right, so now take it to the side. So you can turn this other weight kind of to the side, palm facing in, feels more comfortable. So lower and push off the ground. Step out lower and push off the ground. Do it again. Now Arnold press. Straight up and down. Straight arms up and down. Do it again. Reach and down. Nice. Up and down. Again. Reach. And that's it. Set it down. Okay, I'm going to pyramid up for the last round. The last one, the last minute, we're gonna alternate. Try not to get confused, listen to my cue. Wait up here, curtsy, reach, side lunge, reach, Arnold press, overhead, other side. Curtsy, side, overhead, curtsy, Right here, side, overhead, straight up, 
curtsy, other side. Curtsy, take it to the side, and then press overhead. Do it again, right side, curtsy, right here. Take it to the side, curtsy, and then Arnold press. All right, let's keep the weights where they're supposed to be. Curtsy, side, one row, Arnold press. Ha. Other side, you ready? Go. Curtsy, other side, and then press. All right, we got to finish it up. So curtsy left or right, whichever side you're on, row, and then up. Beautiful. Set it down. <laughs> Get some water, you guys. Are you sweating now? Wipe your sweat. Fabulous job. You're doing awesome. Okay, let's move on. Renegade row. But we're going to turn these into Manmaker. All right, so we've done this before. Manmaker has the renegade move in it. So, careful. I find that when I'm doing a plank row, it's helpful for me to have heavier weight because then I'm more in control. I may move slower, but the benefit is better or greater. Okay, so lift heavier weight. I'm going to, in fact, use 15s for my renegade row. Carefully, though, don't hurt your back because you're facing the mat and you're rowing one side at a time, you're having to stabilize, right, your hips. So use, I'm going to use 15s, you could do 12s or 15s. Yesterday I did 20s, or two days ago I did 20s. All righty, so place the weights right here. So you ready? First thing we're going to do is a squat to step back. All right, so resume. We're just going to do a few, okay? So carefully, feel your feet, reach for the dumbbells right here. So squat, place the weight on the floor, step back, plank, step in, press into your feet, and stand up. Weight on the floor, step back, plank, step in, look forward, press into your feet, and stand. Don't hurt your back, you guys. Brace, reach. Now hold right here. Second part is the row. And you can set your knees down right here. Just feel what's happening. Or plank, row, right there. All right, so now we're going to put it together. So step in and lift. Let's do it one more time. All right. We are off in our sequence. It's okay. <laughs> First 20 seconds. It's called a hip thrust. So lift. Well, do this. Curl. That's the hip thrust. Weight down. Step back. Step in. Curl. Step back. Step in. Stand up and curl. All right. So now here is the row. You can keep your hands on the floor or put your hands on the floor or keep your hands on the dumbbells. Weight up. Shift. Breathe. Super hard move, you guys. All right, so now step in, hip thrust, step out, row one, row two. Step in, hip thrust, up here, <laughs> and then step out, row one, row two. Excellent. All right, so move the weight, a little core training. Listen, roll down, right ankle on left knee, left ankle, <laughs> right, left elbow to right knee, touch. How you doing? Getting a little tired, right? Stay with me. 
Right here is where you have to mentally get into the program. Ankle on the knee. Let's touch. Change sides. Right there. Touch. You got it. Reach. Reach. Back supported by the floor. All right. Bicycle. Touch your elbow to your knee. Right there. Look across the room. Extension up the legs. Reach the legs. Beautiful. Bring it up. All right. Man maker. Careful. Pay attention to your body. All right. So first, grab the weight and curl. Weight down. Step back. Step in. Stand. Hip thrust curl. Step back. Make sure you're alternating the leg that you step back with. And now here's your row. Come on, you got it. You guys, you got it. One. Ha. Two. Set your knees down if you need to. Come on. Lift. Three. Ha. Bring it up to your side. Four. Let's try to get to six. Five. And then six. Beautiful. Step in. Hip thrust. Weight down. Step out. Row one. Row two. Softly down. Step in. Look forward. Brace. Lift. And set your weight down. Nicely done. Ab work. So alternating these two moves. We're doing great. All right. Ankle on knee. Across. Elbow across to the opposite knee. Make the connection. <laughs> Keep your left foot on the floor. The last 20 seconds, instead of bicycle, chain sides first. We'll do a reverse crunch, okay? Just to change up. Working the lower abdominals, rectus, abdominus, up and over, touch, reach, touch, reach, and touch. Hands on the floor, lift the hips. So press into your hands, lift the hips. If this feels, if your lower back feels weak, just do upper body crunches right here. Palms on the floor. Lift. Again. Nicely done. Alrighty. Bring it up. Man maker. <laughs> Let's do one more round, you guys. One more round of the two, and then we'll move on to the final, the final part. Okay, so you ready? Go. So grab your weight, press into your feet, abs braced, curl, hip thrust, hands on the floor, step back, plank, step in, Look forward, curl, set it down, step back, step in, hip thrust. All right, so now let's do plank row. Careful. If you can only do two, only do two. Don't force your body if your form is really... Okay, so now step in. I had to think. Man maker. So step back. Row one. Row two. Just think we're almost done with this. Step in. Hip thrust. Row one. Row two. Nicely done. Set your weights aside. Okay, lower down. You're good. Here we go. Angle on knee. Touch. Center up your body, you guys. Plant your right elbow on the floor, by the way. And touch your elbow to the knee. Across. Try not to 
to use momentum. Do one more. All right, change sides. Elbow to the knee. Do it again. Reach across. Keep the opposite elbow planted so that you don't move that shoulder. You're just moving that right side. Okay. Lower body crunches. Reverse. Up. Press your hands down and lift the hips. Lift up. Again. Nicely done. All right, you've done it. Grab one lightweight. 10 pounds. Here's the rotational move. Super good to do this, you guys, for the spine. Keeping your spine mobile. Ready? Go. So reach down and sweep across. Now, if you bring your ch the, belt, the weight, bend your elbows to your chest, reach down to the chest and reach up. That makes it easier. Otherwise, sweep. Turning your heels. And now chain sides. So remember, straight arms is harder. Bend your elbows as you come to the, from low to high. Right there. Up. Come on, look up here. Reach. Down. Up. All right, here we go. Side to side. So your knees stay over your ankles. Lower, lower, lower. Bring your butt back. Weight in your heels. All right. Right there. Two more rounds of that. And then we're done, okay? Let's do it. Cross body. Low to high. So go low, sweep high. Hold the ends of the dumbbells strong. You could also do this with a plate. If you have a bar and plates. Right there, go the other way. So touch or reach and sweep across. Sweep, woo, ha <laughs> ha. Feel your body. Brace, abs. Ready, go. Side, side. Keep your knee over your ankle and stick your glutes back. Inner thighs. Nicely done. Excellent. Okay, we got one more to get one more of those. So it's called a straight set when you just repeat the same move over. So getting better each round, right? So think of it as a practice, you guys. Reach. When you think that you know it all, that's when you need to start asking questions. <laughs> practice. Reach. One more. All right, other side. Ready? Go. Lower. Reach. Lower. Reach. Lower. And reach. Do it again. Down and up. Down. Up. Side to side. Ready? Go. Weight back. Slow and controlled. Lift your chest. You got it. We're going to stretch on our back to finish. And you're done. Fantastic work. So now, bring your right foot. Well, first we'll do this. So stretch the hips and the legs, the inside, outside of the hip. Sit up tall. I find this, this to be quite awkward, right? But press this knee down, press this knee down. Sit up tall. Hands right here. Breathe. 
15 seconds. Press your knee down, press your knee down. Actively stretching by pressing down into the ground. Press your ankles down too. Breathe. Hands to in front of your shin. Leg goes back. Come on top of this forward leg right here. Point your knee to the side, not forward. Does that make sense? Knee to the side, foot to the side. Walk your arms forward, 30 seconds. Reach your arms, and you can also stack your fists and put your forehead on your fists like this, like that. Breathe. Fifteen seconds. Shoelaces facing your mat. Five more seconds. All right, slide your hands in. Lift up, and now windshield wipe your knees side to side, and we'll go to the other side right here. Tap your knees down all the way. Tap right there. Good. Tap. Again. All right, so now turn this way. 90-90. See, 90 degrees, 90 degrees right here. Press your ankles down. Press your knees down and look forward, or look the forward direction. Feels awkward. 15 seconds. Shoulders back, right there. Press your knees down, press your ankle down. Cool. 10 more seconds. All right, so now extend the leg back. Over on top of this leg, point your knee to the outside, flex your foot, and then that back leg facing the floor, your shoelace is facing the floor, and move your head to the top of your hands or the floor, 30 seconds. Relax, breathe. Breathe. <clears throat> Ten more seconds. All right, walk your hands in. One more thing on your back. This is to reset your hips and your lower back, legs up straight, hamstring stretch, lower back pressing into the floor. Bend your knees, grab your toes. Now straighten your right leg. Bend your right knee, straighten your left leg. As much as you can. All right, and so now to just try to straighten both at the same time. And hold. All right, you let it go, bring your knees into your chest, cross your ankles and roll up. Come onto your hands and your feet. Walk your hands back, fold over, flop like a rag doll. Turn your palms up, hands to your thighs, flat back. Stand all the way up, inhale, reach up. Look up at your hands, exhale, bring your hands down. And you did it again. Thank you so much for showing up with me and doing this workout. Let me know if you did the workout. I, um, I hope you have a great one. Go get some coffee or whatever time it is during the day. Go and have, have a good one. See you later. Bye. <laughs>